I did try to pick up a present that will engage photography, print some photos. Hi guys and welcome back, it's Piotr and today, well season is upon us, Kevin will be in the TV, I already have my t-shirt, Merry Christmas, yeah filthy animal, and let's talk about presents. Bokeh photos. So what is the best thing you can buy for a camera guy or a person with a camera or a phot photograph or for yourself if you are into photography, what is it? There is one single best thing you can not even buy, you can give and you can actually receive something in return. But I will keep this for the last part. So let's start. One of the favorite things I would buy for someone to for instance acknowledge their skill or just make them happy if they don't have the time I would create a photo book for them and just print this like for example I mean obviously this is part of my portfolio but create a photo book for someone a big one like that or maybe something simpler as I will show you in a second just to show that person that yeah those are awesome photos you should have something like that and the number one rule is, if a person is not happy from any presence you give them, unfriend them from Facebook, don't speak to them ever again. Everyone should always be thankful for presents, especially if you put some thought into it. That's the bottom line. Okay. This is for example, this is my blog by the way, it's not in English per se, this is translated just so I have a reference when I'm talking with you. So, this is a very small book, this is 10 on 15 centimeters very small photos as you can see the paper is perforated so you can pretty much buy the book and you can just simply scratch rip off the photos and give away to the people around you so I would say a great present and very small one and just simply people will eventually keep it somewhere around so if you if they have any guests people will just simply Look at that and enjoy those photographies and remember the good old days, as they say. Okay, so this is this, so pretty much photography, print some photos. The best thing I could receive is that if someone would give me a, one of my photos, but print it on a nice paper, framed very nicely, this would be awesome. Of course, it doesn't have to be expensive, it can be cheap, I mean printing pictures a3 or a4 format isn't that huge of a deal it's really really cheap in the end but it still costs a little bit and it's very very easy to do so think about that you don't really have to frame this or at least some end frame like the most simple scenario would be great okay a disposable camera a single one use camera you can always scan the photos like that you will have this polaroid effect that everyone always like and this is analog photography the colors will be off everything will be off you got on, you got no zoom you got you got flash but this is like this is not real flash right it's just simply crazy like that here and there is nothing better to catch the candid moment of you and your friends i mean this is gorgeous and just as a curiosity you can see this is the big ass condensator you you might be you can you have to be careful when you are disassembling this like me because it, it just simply might kick you with a couple of volts and this is so you can see how can you rip this apart and how it looks from the inside out so a disposable camera it's a very fun gadget then you can of course get those images and you will have something that is printed it's real it's tangible you can take this home with you it's it's something fun, I would say. Not many people do it, but everyone enjoys a Polaroid. This is the same. Okay, books. Like books and photography, there are many books. Just find what the person needs. If they are into landscape, buy them something from landscape. If they are into street photography, maybe an album with a street photography. Not with some, like a book that he should learn the composition, uh, how to make shadow game or Lightroom or how to post process but just a simple album with cute photos that he or she can sit down or you can sit down and just think yeah I want to do a great photo just like that and this will be enough so there are 
many different books. This is, for example, from Scott Kelby. There are a lot of references to Lightroom and Photoshop, so I wouldn't recommend this for any beginner. But like David Duchemin has a very nice book, 60 Ideas for Better Photos, and there are 60 Ideas for Better Better Photos. Like go outside, go a little bit in, go out, uh, make a frame, make some composition, like everything is there, it's very very simple to follow, or just play in landscape from Ansel Adams. I have this and this is great, like it's not maybe that those photographies are so awesome, because there is a question, would, tell me in the comments, would, do you think would Ansel Adams in this time on Instagram, if he would have an Instagram, would it he be seen? Or people wouldn't really like those photos because, you know, reasons. Or there are better people currently. But we know, all know Ansel Adams. But what I wanted to say is it's not only about the photography, but about being there on the spot and, for example, Yosemite and taking that photo. So maybe even not that, but you can try and buy some traveler's books so people will get inspire, inspired to travel somewhere and take those photos they will think about. So there's that. Printing images, a disposable camera, photography books, and if someone is into product photography, buy them a black basalt or stone table. Or at least a desk, they will be able to set up food on it and specify it and just simply shoot, like here. This is a special basalt desk for food to serve. Usually you can see this in some restaurants, you get served on a black piece of stone. This is it. It doesn't have to be stone, it has to have some texture on it, so it will look a lot better. Probably some wooden will be absolutely fine too, whatever you can find, and there's that, nothing more, nothing else. And if you will come around, they or she or he will always serve you on that desk, because they will want to make nice for you, and just simply acknowledge that they like the present, hopefully. Okay, so there's that, a simple desk from the kitchen, or for drinks, or for, or for serving anything. Okay. Vintage retro lens with an adapter, like Helion, Helios, sorry, Helios lens, Fujinon, Carl Zeiss, Siena, Tessar, those are only a couple of those. Industar are a lot of Russian old lenses and German lenses, vintage stuff, they all have adapters for all the systems you can imagine. So for example, here you can see an, a Helios 44 Mark II with an M42 to EOS adapter, and this is an aluminium one with uh, with the autofocus so sorry not with the autofocus it provides a beep when there is focus when you set this manually because all those lenses are manual you set up the aperture you set up the sharpness and that's it nothing else so only focus aperture and you put it on your camera they are very small usually those are 50 to 58 millimeters so for an APS-C it will be around 75 to 85 millimeters. And there's that. Something totally new. I know people have gas, which is gear acquisition syndrome, but really, it does help. It does spike you and you simply go out, you shoot a little bit more and it gets you through hard times. So I wouldn't say that gas is that bad. So a vintage retro lens with an adapter for a given system. All those lenses are full frame, so no worries there, you just need to get an adapter. Okay, the classic that you can see always, so I won't go into it, but I love mine. Photography gloves. Great stuff. Very easy to operate, just as it is, as simple as that. And the most important part we are now in. Time. For example, me, I don't have enough time to make all the photos I would like and for example make this YouTube channel or a couple of other things, projects I'm working on but this is just simply very slow. If someone would set up some meeting with me and tell me to listen, grab a camera, we are going for a walk to a forest, a forest to a park like whatever, 
I would be thrilled and happy as hell because I would have to I would actually be with that person I could work with my hobby without having feeling ashamed that I'm not giving all my attention and time to that person it would be awesome if someone would think about me or for instance if you're a girlfriend or, or a boyfriend and your other half would like to have some time for photography just simply let them go you will have some time for yourself and they will be able to pursue photography think about that I would be thrilled with that but I don't have simply enough time currently on my hands a lot of different stuff but this would be nice or dress up for the person and say I need a couple of photos what would you like me to wear we can make some tempt session so you can have some nice photos for your portfolio or Instagram account or whatever just to show off on Facebook for your friends to like and that's it or maybe then you can print those photos for yourself and for the person that took it with you so many different possibilities so time you can get time but on the other hand you need to give time also so this is up to you this is the best present of course everything else those are just simply stuff you can buy but remember that people the best present I would say is something someone it's not that they don't expect this but they wouldn't think about this in the first part like if they would will have a printed photography they will have it always it will be maybe they will put it somewhere and watch this every day and it will be a reminder of you and whoa yeah that person gave me that great photo of a tree or some landscape that I did it was very awesome and I look at this and yeah it was me I created this I produced this I feel better about myself thank you for that maybe that because books if they will learn from that great but I wouldn't like if I would give someone a book and they wouldn't even read this and it would land on a shelf or something like that so I would focus on something practical like the disposable camera if you think about that they will definitely use this not a chance and if they will use it they will definitely want to see the results and the amount of fun gotten from a present will be a lot bigger than just receiving some book or something else at least I did try to pick up a present that will engage the person you are giving it to so with gloves he will be walking or she will be walking with the gloves with a retro vintage lens they will have to shoot some photographies it's not that you just get us get some stuff and put it on the shelf no you actually need to use this to have fun from that think about that and that's it if you know any other best presents hit me in the comment section and that's all have a nice holiday see you later and bye for now oh and by the way if you want to know i'm currently working on a video that shows how i did a project photography of my cookbook cover and let's see how it goes thanks again bye for now and merry christmas you filthy animals <laughs>